Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Play Prison. I am joined here in the Ordinary Men Who Fight Like Heroes game room by... Drunks and Dragons. And I'm Chris Fearing, and we're playing one of our favorite games from the PS2 era. Red Dead Revolver. Now most of you know what Red Dead Redemption is, but this is actually the game that came before it. Initially was going to be a very Japanese-based shooter game, actually made by Capcom, I believe it was. Yep. And... They kind of put it aside, kind of didn't want to do it anymore, and Rockstar came along and got what they had been working on and changed it from an arcadey, rapid fire, like, oh, awesome fucking Wiston shooter into this amazing game that started out like a string of amazing games. So, we are going to create a new player. A new player. And this is another one of those <laughs> prison off. And this is another one of those games like uh, Resident Evil 4 that way back in the day. So it's gonna have to just be prison. All right. That works. Nice. So this is one of those games that, like, just like Resident Evil 4, way back in the day, we would play the shit ton of the multiplayer on this. No online multiplayer. Up to four players, split screen, but you can only do two on the PS2. So we would just split screen and like fight each other or try to find ways that the game could actually put up a challenge against the two of us. So we've extensively gone through the roster and their abilities to like try and fight the most asinine of dudes to fight, which we will... So you get them. Awesome, awesome load screens in this game, too. They're going to go by super fucking fast on this. Yeah, they will, actually. But, like, I love those, because it introduces you to the character, and it kind of gives you, like, a little feel of them. Nate Harlow coming home. And they got that film grain going on that's deliberate, that's not a special filter placed over by ourselves. That's yeah. how the game defaultly chooses to look. This game is just one giant homage. Oh, yeah. One giant gun-filled homage. that runs clean through Bear Mountain. Hey, Pop, where'd you get that? Isn't she a beaut? Yeah. Can I hold it? She's one of a pair. I just noticed the sound when he drew it. Where's the other one? Had, like, metal sliding that on leather. Shing, that yeah. shing! Like, it was like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, yes, dude. I love the fact that when he's like, man, look at that, can I hold it? Like, his dad never answered it. will be yours. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wow, can I hold it? There's only one of a pair, only two in the whole world. He immediately just holds it back. That's called, it's really expensive. No, Yeah. <laughs> But I do like, like, you can have my old pistol. You can have a shitty gun. To be fair, it's it's serviceable. What is, is it actually the old pistol? Yes. Serviceable, albeit there are way better guns in the game. There are way better weapons in the game. Free period. range of camera. Oh yeah, there's also, like, a bunch of cheats. 
Oh, because you've unlocked a bunch of wacky stuff. Yeah, but I am not going to turn this on, even though it makes the game hilarious. What, it, like, Sad Stars? Well, Sad Stars is just... I don't even remember what Sad Stars is, but just... I thought, like, it, was sad star I thought it was like Stars instead of Blood or some shit. It might, yeah, it might have been. It's Stars instead of Blood, but just Golden Gun and Invincibility. Like, if you guys are gamers from this era, you know Golden Gun is like one shot, one kill, no matter what you're wielding, no matter where you hit your opponent. Does it actually turn your gun gold? No. Ah. Oh well. Here, you can learn how to shoot. Here, you can learn I'm gonna do the training session just for the hell of it. Oh, it's just to show the Pebbles? Yeah. And I mean, if you played Red Dead, you kind of get the sense, but this was one of the first shooter games where I was like, this is cool. You have to hold your hold one button to hold the gun out of the holster. God, such good sound effects. Yeah, all the sound effects for every single gun in the game sound really legit. Every gun feels satisfying. It feels like you're actually shooting the shit out of those guys. Very, very smooth going reticle. Easy, quick change from yellow to red when you're hitting a vital spot. It's good stuff. 144 bullets. You are not going to run out anytime soon, mm -hmm. sir. She's like, stop shooting your gun off like an idiot. And the weather changes. The kids down by the river. Go get them. Go get them and learn that we fucking fucked up. Yep. God, I love that. Oh, and the cool thing is, you are you are a bounty hunter in this game, and you gain money from like the combos on shots. And, like, based on where you shoot your enemies. Like, these rapid, awesome headshots. And see, I got the two times multiplier for two headshots. Come on, Red. It's now or never. And once you, like, once you get the hang of this game, this shit becomes, like, a clutter. Ooh! He clipped you. Blam! Blammo! Oh, and I also forgot, there's, like, fucking ratings at the end of every, uh, level. Yeah, and you need good enough ratings to unlock stuff. Not that we don't need to worry about unlocking stuff, but... Woo! Oop, I reload. <laughs> See you in hell! <laughs> Such good stuff. Guys gargle on their own blood and shit. You feel like you're just blowing dudes away. Yeah, you feel like you're in a fucking classic western. And you're killing the same man. The same bug-eyed, creepy man and all of his <laughs> friends who look just like him. <laughs> Fucking mother and father get shot right in front of him. What hero's life would be without tragedy? Kid, I reckon your pa's better off dead. Him being such a yellow belly and all. <laughs> Scorpion revolver in the flames. I'd have shit myself at that point if I was one of those other guys. Like now the, now the cool thing is, the hand is bloody. What you don't see because it's because it's PS2 graphics is the scorpion revolver inlaid into the wood of the handle is a metal scorpion that actually gets burned into the palm of his hand. It's fucking metal as fuck, dude. And you also get like an extra ba extra fucking little. Yeah, they named the henchman. Yes. Boom. Got the excellent. Good and excellent. Unlock the old pistol and unlock Broken Creek. Which you already had Broken Creek unlocked, but even still, you can yeah. see, like, unlocks. You only need three stars. Four stars really doesn't get you anything extra. It still says excellent. You still get both of the unlocks. And then... And you see your bounty. 
You can see... The great part is a lot of these named guys that they just named are actually characters you can play in multiplayer. Like, you can oh, yeah. play Smitty in multiplayer. Alright, now what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to pass off every level. Because we yep. both like we both know this game inside and out. So, and there's no, like, there's no real character building. You buy weapons, you can choose a weapon to have, like, when you go into, organ like, different fucking levels and stuff. God, it's such a fucking cool loading screen. Yeah, now you're a scarred, like, scarred hand, scarred face, scarred hand, like, badass. And I was gonna say, now, like, for those of you that have just played Redemption, now, and he's got, of course, like, the bandana wrapped around it. Now you know why. Specifically, they brought back characters from Red Dead Revolver as DLC characters from multiplayer. Oh yeah. He's also a character in multiplayer. Good, so good. What has he got to buy that we can buy that we should buy? I'm not worried about the knife, dude. Sweet, because it carries over from my other. Uh, hey, keep going over. Keep going over. Oh, oh, it carries okay. Over. okay, so it carries everything over, so the only thing we'll have to worry about buying is guns and gun upgrades. Then I'm not even going to worry about the buy knives. The knives. Oh, well, like at I least guess. buy, like, one pack of knives. Alright, well, why not? Um, you like using see. the knives. And... Uh, the next. There you go. Give me some of them knives. And now you've got the little knife scabbard. Because you got knives. Classic PS2 era graphics. Nice. Oh, such good music in this too. Damn, you've already got a rifle. Yeah, I was gonna say I picked up a rifle from somewhere. You might have picked up a rifle from them. Uh, let's go ahead and do the training. Yeah, why not? Use my wagon for cover. Cool, because there's also a fucking cover mechanic in this game. I got the owl rifle. And actually, it's a cool thing that all the music in this is actually pulled from other spaghetti westerns. So, like, it is quite literally a cavalcade of amazing music. Zoom in, and I don't think you can shoot the birds, can you? No. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, can you shoot the birds? Is that possible? Yes! God, and the fucking screen ripple when you kill him, so you know you kill him. Uh oh. Oh, you're st you're still in the training session. Use my wagon for cover. Like you have to you have to go ahead and finish killing those guys from behind. Oh. And the rifles have a nice slow, steady zoom in. You can. Huzzah! All right, there's a guy hiding. Yeah, Real you might, you hard. Gotta be careful. You might end up capping just the side of the wagon. Yes. And there we go. Music stops. You're done. So detach from cover. And you finish training mode. Sit triangle. You can pick up all the extra ammo. Cool. It does like the old classic spinning guns over where the bodies died. Oh, and dead eye, which works kind of similarly to what it does in. Uh, redemption, but it seems like to me it seems a little bit more fine-tuned than this. As you go over body parts, it highlights them, and as many bullets as you have in the clip, you can highlight that and just like rack them off. Fan the hammer, as it were, if you were using a revolver. Mm. Then your first real bounty, Bloody Tom. The worst character in multiplayer. And also one character that's not available in multiplayer. Oh, that one guy? Oh, uh... Little Oaf. Little Oaf. Well, this is Dad, Oaf. I don't want to say stick with a revolver right now, man. Yes! Good shit. Now you gotta worry about the kid coming after you. I'm gonna get you! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> I'm coming! He's gonna fucking bull rush you, dude. No place you can run. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop me. I'm coming. Uh, 
Yo, yep. another shot. All right. I was like, I wanted another shot on this head. I wanted three, but you might not have had a full reload on it. Oh yeah, that's true. Nice. Damn son. <laughs> you done killed them all. Yeah. I didn't even fucking break a sweat. I'll be taking your cart. Uh, well, uh, sure, uh, whatever you say, bounty hunter. <laughs> Just kind of fucking falls into the business. Awesome, 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 awesome. Bounty hunting came hyper naturally. Good shit, dude. And that was a pretty good combo too. Get you bloody Tom and. Big Oaf Whitley. I love God, the fucking sound. And then the loading screen is the revolving chamber with the bullets going I gotta change my... If I change my text noise, I think maybe one of the gunshots from this game would be sweet. So, that was the... Okay, we'll do the shop thing. All you gotta do is really buy the revolver. And this is the first time... This is the screen you'll get for everything. You can repair guns that you've used. You can choose guns you want to take with you. We just got the revolver, so we had the six-shooter, and we had the old pistol. You see the ammo count for individual ones. You can see the reload time. The range, the damage, and the accuracy. So you can kind of go back and forth. Whoa, hat. Holy shit. Old pistol's actually better than six-shooter. Wow, really? Yeah, look at that. Look Let's at see. the damage and the accuracy. All right, very fast, very short. No, no, no. look at the damage and the accuracy. Damage there. accuracy. The only thing is it's got, like... Slightly not as... faster reload time yeah. for a six-shooter. So the old pistol's actually not bad. Yeah. But so you can pick that. You can pick your... Ooh, how can rifle? Actually, I'm going to stick with Halcon just for the long range, just in case. I'm going to go none, so I don't accidentally select it. You can pick your throne, your sidearm, and your long arm, and then you can head into a mission. And this comes in play, like, big time when you're actually sent on particular bounty missions. But those were the first two levels of Red Dead Revolver, and we are going to keep this fucking thing going, man. We're going to see this through to the end. This game is amazing. But stay out of trouble, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> I wanted to gargle by, but my throat wouldn't let me. <laughs> see you guys. Bye, guys.